Oh, hey everybody, welcome to Blue's Plates, here with Blue. Um, the actual recording of this video is being done on July 11th. Um, it's about 7.30ish, 8 o'clock. Um, technically, today we are supposed to be on day 10, <coughs> excuse me, of 90 days reclaiming our health. Um, we started on the 2nd of January, um, or it may have been the 3rd, um, however it was supposed to happen, we got off track, so we are actually on day 6. Um, real quick, you just saw me put some EVOO in here, and then over here I have some some four pepper sausage and cheddar cheese sausage. I am going to be making a jambalaya, my version of jambalaya. So we're using two sausages, two types of sausages, um, shrimp, and instead of rice, we're having cauliflower rice. So I'm just going to sweat out some of these veggies. We have um, onions, sweet peppers, and green peppers. So I'm just gonna sweat those out a little bit. This little piece is like, I don't wanna go. There we go. So, um, normally I'm on camera um, for reasons at this time not discussed. I am breaking, but I had been saying since the Aldi video that I was going to do a video. Um, the Aldi short, I said I would be doing a video. Life was happening. So I did not come on and do that video yet. And I am not cooking that right now, but I will be doing the um, sp spaghetti squash um, that I talked about in that short from a few days ago. Um, and then this is just browning a little bit so that I can get all those flavors out. You can easily do this in one pot, one skillet, one pan, but I chose to do it this way just to release some of those flavors before I add everything else. I've never made this before. Um, so I'm just kind of going with the flow. And I'm turning this up so that the video is not extended. Um, so basically our 90 days reclaiming our health um, through healthy or eating. Remember, I always say what's healthy for me may not be your story. What's healthy doesn't look the same or fit the same fit everyone the same. <clears throat> so, um, for instance, some people maybe cannot have the pork, right? They maybe cannot have the spicy sausage. Um, they may not be able to have some of these items. So, again, healthy for me is not healthy for you and what hubby and i are doing is cutting back on carbs which is why we're replacing our cauliflower rice which is here with that regular rice that's full of carbs brown rice is still full of carbs so this is pretty much a low carb dish all right i think you guys have a pretty good view of that um 
I normally, again, don't stay off camera. Um, this is cooking and eating. So at some point, I might taste this for you all. Uh, I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do. But let's just cook it up and then when we get to the end, we'll see how we're feeling. All right, to this, I'm going to go ahead and start adding our liquid. Um, if you've watched before, I really prefer not to cook with just water. So we are going to use vegetable stock. I bought vegetable stock. I bought this in the um, Aldi video, Aldi short. So this is going to be our only salt. This is three carbs and 550 milligrams of sodium. So this is the only salt besides the salt in the sausage that we're gonna use. So we're gonna start with one cup, two cups. Okay, we're gonna put that to the side because chances are we're going to need that again. We might need another half cup. These are browning nicely. So I do have a, another subscriber that is doing some or all parts of this challenge, not challenge, but reclaiming our health. Um, and I posted her food on the community wall. Um, let's get our seasonings added to this. So we're gonna be doing a cup, I'm sorry, a tablespoon of onion powder. So a leveled tablespoon of onion powder, a tablespoon of garlic, tablespoon of paprika, not smoked, a little bit more. We'll put those to the side in case we need to go back in. We're going to do a half teaspoon of pepper, a half teaspoon of chili powder, and a half teaspoon of crushed peppers. That is going to be the start of our liquid for our jambalaya. Now, the reason I did it this way instead of buying the box is because I can control the amount of salt, right? I'm putting in everything. When you get the box, you can't control the salt. And again, we really try to get involved. Um, we really try to use um, no salt seasonings. We really try to use no salt seasonings. Um, because it's just better. Also, by browning this, it's releasing that flavor. Again, I could have done it in the same pan, but I wanted to get that liquid going. Um, 
So that's why I'm doing it in a different pan. This is why your stove should be really clean. People do videos and um, sometimes their stoves are not all that clean. So the liquid is boiling. So at this point, I'm going to add three 10 ounce packages of the cauliflower rice. So this is three 10 ounce packages of cauliflower rice. If I want it to be in the kitchen for a large part of the afternoon, I would have shredded cauliflower, but I didn't want to do that. And so I bought three 10 ounce packages. At this point, we're going to turn this down and let that cauliflower soak up that broth and those flavors. Um, using the vegetable broth, also added that brown color along with those seasonings. All right. So cauliflower does not have to cook long because it's um, can be eaten raw. All right. Now, I look, it looks to me like I can add about another half cup of broth. I'm going to do that now. And because I'm adding broth, I'm going to add another half teaspoon of all of those seasonings that I already added. And this is exactly why I kept them out. So we added the chili powder, the onion powder, the garlic powder. Those are the ones that we did a bigger amount of the first time. Paprika, black pepper, <clears throat> and crushed peppers. <clears throat> Somebody might say, how can you call that jambalaya? Well, I looked up some of the items that are in jambalaya. And then I went and purchased them. So, that's why I said it is my version <laughs> of jambalaya. I'm going to do a quick wipe down of my space. Now, hubby likes things spicy, so he could probably or would probably enjoy some jalapeno in here. He would probably enjoy some Carolina Reaper cheese in here. And he's more than welcome to add that <laughs> to... His dish. So I am gonna let that cook a little high, soak up some of that liquid. The sausage has been turned off. And then we have 12 ounces of shrimp. And that's gonna be the dish. We're also going to add some spinach to this. So you have your peppers, your onion, you have your no salt seasonings, and then you have your four pepper, Polish sausage, and your cheddar cheese sausage, and then the spinach. <clears throat> Let me just give you an idea of the carb count. So our shrimp is one carb per serving. So the whole bag is three carbs. This is the shrimp that I used 
from Aldi. I bought a couple days ago. Um, it is three servings per container and it's one carb per serving. So that is three carbs. Our sausage that we used, the four pepper sausage is five carbs per serving and that's um, seven servings um, and the cheddar is also five carbs per serving for seven servings our cauliflower rice <clears throat> is um, I don't know what it is because I ripped it off. <laughs> Two carbs. So you're really not getting a lot of carbs in this dish. Okay. So the rest of that liquid is going to be soaked up by our sausage. So we'll go ahead and take all those juices, all those juices. Remember I said this was all the salt that I was gonna use. Ooh, we got some pretty dark pieces, but that's all right because <laughs> we're going to eat it up. Let me switch spoons. <clears throat> On Blue's plate, we are always having to get in the thing and grab stuff. Because we forget something no matter how long I prepare. Um, I was watching a live while I was setting up for the meal. <laughs> Shout out to Vaughn's place. I was watching her live while I was setting up for this video. I'm taking a break, but I'm still kind of watching stuff. I need to take a total break. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow I'll stay off the internet as a whole. So I am going to actually ask Hubs to taste this. Baby, come taste. You don't have to taste it on camera if you don't want to. I just want you to taste. Please, Hubs, and thank you. Try to get everything. I just need to know what you think about the um, the flavor. And you can say hello. They can't see you. Okay. <laughs> hello. <laughs> you guys, I probably could have went without that extra cup of half cup of liquid. <clears throat> mm. Good. Can you tell me what the spice level is? If it needs more, if it needs... Where are we at right now with the spice level? Mild. Mild? Mm-hmm. Ooh. How are we with the salt? Don't know there's any salt. Uh, if you can't taste it, we're good. So you say that it's mild. Yes. 
So you I want me to add some spice? Just a little. All right, you guys, we're going back in with the spice. Um, we'll do another half on the paprika. We'll do another half on the crushed peppers. Let's just do another one. So I'm not keeping track of how good. much we've done. That be good. Well, that was just the spice, honey. Going back in with the onion powder, baby, that what I put in was just the stuff that causes it to be hotter. I know. And then more back in with the garlic. Did I forget anything? Who knows? And I'm surprised because there's four pepper sausage in here. So I really thought that it would. Yeah, but even then it's got the meat in it with all the liquids from the meat that I put in there. Huh. Well, I don't like that if it's not spicy. So was it bland? No, it was good. It had flavor. Just the spice level from one to five was? Very mild. A two? A three? Three and a half. Well, one to five, three and a half is that. Well, yeah, I guess that's mild, like in the middle. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't go far because I'm going to want you to um, I'm going to want you to um, You guys, I just moved that back and turned the camera I am going to Grab the, no, we don't leave hot sauce in the refrigerator, do we? Let me just put a little bit of, because if it's not spicy to hugs, then it's not spicy. <clears throat> and he and I have different spice levels. I can do stuff when it's done to bring down the spice for my own portion. Um, <clears throat> babe, have yeah. you seen, oh, I know you were still here, baby, I'm sorry. Have you seen the hot sauce? Are we out of hot sauce? Oh, oh no. Lord, have mercy. It's, so it's right here. It's right here. It's right here. So you could be right. The, um, the liquid could be the liquid could be the issue <sighs> so let's just add a tablespoon of spice more spice <clears throat> the liquid is definitely getting soaked up, but you have to be careful because we don't want mashed cauliflower, right? right? This is the first time, if you guys watched any of my videos, y'all know I'm a mess sometimes. All right, so let's recap. We used two and a half cups of vegetable broth. We used just under three pounds of meat, um, closer to three pounds after I add the shrimp. It was four pepper sausage and um, cheddar cheese. <clears throat> we added a plethora of seasonings from hot sauce to chili powder to crushed peppers to uh, paprika.
try it again because I need to add the last two items, which is going to be spinach and shrimp. Let's see what our spice level is now. Because <clears throat> I'll work on it till I get it right. It'll be a longer video, but <clears throat> I'll work on it till I get it right. Till I get it, you know, good enough for hubs to enjoy it. That's usually not hard to do, but today I'm struggling, you guys. Mm. Perfect. Now it's perfect? Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course it is, babe. If you say so. I believe you. Okay. Let's add in our shrimp because this definitely is not going to be in here long. Is it overly spicy now? No. No? Just right. <laughs> too much, not too much. Your whole tone has changed. That's how I know you're telling the truth. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Dion. Cut it out. Yes, baby. <laughs> this, you have problems. Yeah, I love you too, Mama. <laughs> Babe, quit being goofy. You came out here and got totally goofy. So do I need to add the pinch of sweetness like I normally do when I make something spicy or no? No. You guys, excuse um, the growling husband of mine. I, <laughs> I really, I don't, about. I really don't know what's going on with them, but uh, so we know these shrimp. You know what I wish I would have done? What's that? I wish I would have. Grilled the shrimp a little bit more first. Well, it's liquid in there, and most of the seasonings and spices are in the liquid, so it's gonna soak into the shrimp. Yeah. All right, you guys, we're just gonna let that shrimp get pink. And, um, for my plate, for my plate, um, I need to cover this. For my plate, um, I could have swore I saw a shrimp somewhere. A piece of meat, I did see it. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so on my plate, I'm going to add some spinach. All right, so this is Blue's plate. I will add some to Hubby's if he wants some. <clears throat> and then we don't want to see that shrimp's getting pink because we don't want to overdo it. Definitely too much liquid. 
but it's okay. This video is longer than I expected. So I am going to give it a taste for you all. Yeah, I think the thing was the, just the too much liquid. So I'm just going to let that um, do what it does. <clears throat> and I'll come on camera with you guys just for a minute to taste. Um, so a couple of these extra pieces off. Thank you um, for this meal, and we thank you for the hands that supplied it and the hands that <clears throat> prepared it, and we ask that it be a blessing and a nourishment in Jesus' name, amen. So let me just get some of everything. On the plate. Excuse the lighting. I didn't have an intention of going being on camera. So the lighting is uh and you know what you guys cauliflower is not gonna soak up liquid like uh like the rice would. So if I do this again, and I will, I will um, use less liquid. Probably use a cup and a half less liquid because in actuality, the cauliflower would produce a liquid as well. So lesson learned don't use two and a half cups of liquid if you're making jambalaya and you're replacing the um, rice with cauliflower. Good smell. Doesn't smell hot. Are you guys? <coughs> Will you please hand me a water off the from the or just that sign. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> yeah, that's some kind of spice went down my throat the wrong way. Oh, wow. 
my my it's good <laughs> but the spice level so wonderful. he likes spice um when i was making regular jambalaya um because somebody might say in the comment section i would have added well people many people might not make this at all but people might say they may they would have added the spinach to the dish and I would have too but spinach makes more liquid so when I have made box jambalaya in the past I have um, done that but it's very flavorful The shrimp um, is still tender, even though it's fully closed. It is still tender. It's still tender. If your shrimp fully closes, like makes a O, chances are you've overcooked it. That's what I've researched. That's what I've been told. But that's still tender. So, next time, less liquid, um, by about a cup and a half less than what I had. Start with the one cup and then see if you need it once you get those other items in there. Um, definitely a spice like jambalaya. So, that's that. Um... We'll still give it a full three clots. So, um, I will see you all maybe Saturday, maybe Sunday, maybe Monday. Again, this video is recorded on January 11th. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna serve hubby up a plate and I will see you all next time. Uh, thank you for watching this video that is very extended. Um, but I'll put in the timestamp well, maybe I won't put in the time stack. You guys can just fast forward. But I thank you for um, everyone's support, everyone that supported from Blue's Journey, and everyone that just came from other random places. Thank you. So I will see you all soon. Uh, until next time, eat well, be well. <laughs>